You're listening to Science Friday from NPR. I'm Michael Plato. We're out here in San Diego at the annual meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, talking about communicating science with Deborah Blum, Paul Rayburn, Stephen Schneider, and joining us now to talk about a project to get more science and scientists into the movies and on television it is my next guest, Jennifer Willett. She is director of the Science and Entertainment Exchange, and that's a program of the National Academy of Sciences, and she's here in San Diego. Thank you. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. And so, is, do I read this correctly? This is, this is how scientists do what? How are you going to help science? Well, um, we actually recognize the power of Hollywood to inspire people, to inspire imaginations. Um, when I was working as a journalist, I always would talk to scientists about what made them want to become a scientist. And invariably, it would be a book they read, a movie they saw, or someone they met. But in general, it was this entertainment industry. Um, it has the power to reach people with a very strong, inspiring message, and it can get across um, very broad general messages about you know the good or bad of science and so this is a way of doing that by essentially finding a way to get entertainment people and scientists in a room together and talking. So do they pitch ideas each other or if someone let's say is out there writing a screenplay about string theory they can come to you <laughs> and call your office and get notes yeah. from a scientist or something like that. Yes, we'll match them up with a string theorist and believe me we've gotten those questions. We've had requests for laser scientists, for neuroscientists, for an expert on the star nose mole um, and that's part of what we do, definitely. We want to get these people in a room together. And uh, one of the things that we do, particularly on film, because you have some lead time here, uh, we did this for Tron Legacy, we did it for director Ridley Scott on a project he was working on and a couple of others. Uh, we, we basically, they bring in the producer, the director, a couple of writers, and we bring in three or four scientists, and they sit there and they brainstorm for an hour, usually about either a couple of key plot points that really rely on science. And you get the creativity of both sides, and, and uh, it's wonderful. How do you do the Big Bang Theory? Ah, that's bad. Which has a lot of science in it. And the know? science, and it is the best physics on television. Um, but the portrayal of physicists, as I, which I'm sure is what you're getting at here. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think it's just back on. <laughs> so you've met some physicists. <laughs> Um, I think it's a wonderful series. Uh, we know the technical consultant on that. He's a physicist at UCLA named David Salzberg. Um, I use those clips all the time. It's one of the few places where you can actually hear jokes about slope of an inclined plane and weird effects and time travel and have it done accurately. 